we are, part three, the one you guys have probably been sifting for through all the videos. Um, I'm sorry, I had to leave you on a cliffhanger. Mean of me, I know, I'm sorry. So this is trying to conceive after a tubal reversal success story part three. If you watched my other video, you'll know what we're gonna discuss in this one. If you haven't seen any uh, parts one or part two, I will link them in the description box below. We are pregnant. We are pregnant, and this is how it happened. Well, we all know how it happened. <laughs> Maybe I should rephrase that. This is how we found out. I'll, that way, okay. April of this year, which is 2017. April of this year, I had gotten my period on April 4th. I only bled, TMI, E-M-I. Um, I only bled for March 4th and March 5th, two days. Now, this has happened before, so I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh. Same old crazy body crap, right? So I bled for two days. It was a lot lighter than any of my previous menstrual cycles, even the ones that were only two days. So that kind of caught my attention. And I was like, oh, I'm not testing. I'm just going to wait. We all know how that goes. I tested 24 hours later. <laughs> it was negative. Um, at this point, I was heartbroken yet again. But I'm like, you know what? We started a whole new cycle. That was technically my period. We're going to do this thing, we're, you know, I'm just, we're going to have sex and we're going to get pregnant. My hopes were still high. We weren't trying like we had been before, but my hopes were still high. I prayed every night. Um, I know, I knew in my heart, God was going to let it happen. I want to probably say like the last week of April, my boobs freaking hurt. I'm, and I'm not, I'm not talking like period hurt like oh they're a little bit sore no it was like someone had just donkey punched me right in both breasts like both boobs just hurt i i would take my bra off and it felt like they were clay and they had hardened all day and then when i took my bra off it was like the pain of them just relaxing was almost more than i could bear and at this point i was thinking uh-huh i remember this and with Shad and Curtis when they were born, um, like I said, they're 14 and 12 now, so it's been a long time, I distinctly remembered um, having the breast pain. That was a red flag to me, and that happened the entire last week of April. May 1st, I had mentioned it to Daniel, and I was like, Daniel, my boobs, and he had kind of known, he kind of saw, you know, that I was being really delicate with my boobs and, <laughs> you know, wouldn't let him touch them. And I explained to him, you know, listen, my boobs really hurt, like this, this could be a sign that I'm pregnant. And we had both had so many negatives that were, you know, at this point, it's hard to to get excited because you're like, oh, the moment you take that test, you know, you know, yes or no, it's either way, you know. So we're like, you know, we've had so many negatives, you know, what are the odds? We didn't want to get our hopes up to have them shattered again. I mentioned it to him and we went on with our night, watched TV, ate dinner and all that stuff. And so May 2nd, when Daniel, I believe Daniel was at work, I had gone and bought pregnancy tests and it's the dollar store um, pregnancy test. And I took one. He, Daniel had come home from work. I've had so many negative tests that taking a test wasn't a big deal anymore. It was like one of those things, hey, in passing, did you take a test? Yep, sure did. It was negative. You had in your head in the beginning how you wanted to surprise your husband at work or you wanted to surprise him in a really cute way that you were pregnant. And that was just all gone at this point. You know, it was just, it was a routine thing. Like taking a pregnancy test was like brushing your teeth. You know, it was just routine. There was no surprise element anymore. I didn't tell Daniel, but I went into the bathroom and I took a test. I didn't tell him because I didn't want to tell him it was negative. So I was like, if I just take a test and comes out negative, I just won't even say anything. Like, he doesn't even need to know I took a test because I always take tests. He sees them laying around the bathroom everywhere. Sorry, Daniel. I go in the bathroom, I take a test. This is May 2nd, and it's positive. And at that point, my heart just exploded with joy. And I was terrified to be happy because I was like, oh, well, Maybe this is my eyes playing tricks on me again because the last time I saw a positive, it was just me wanting to be pregnant so bad that I saw a positive. I calmly come out of the bathroom. I've got the test in my hand and Daniel's sitting in his recliner and I said, Daniel, can you come here for a second? And he kind of looked at me funny and I was like, just come here. Come here, I'll show you something. 
So he comes into the bedroom, and at that point, we had both boys in the living room, and then our neighbor friend was over. Her name's Katie. She was over hanging out with the boys, and so I didn't want to make this huge deal in front of everybody. So I just pulled him to the side, and I said, look at this and tell me my eyes are not playing tricks on me. And he looked at it, and he looked up at me and smiled, and then he looked back down again, and he was like, what do you want me to say? And I said, I need you to say that it's a positive because I saw a positive. I saw two lines and he goes, well, I see two lines. Um, and we just, we both really got excited. This, it was late at night when I had taken this test. So Daniel and I had gone to bed and I had bought in two. And, um, before we went to bed, we had contacted Daniel's sister and she said, you know, did you do this, did you do that? Did you pee directly on the stick or did you drop it in? Did you pee in a cup? All this other crap. And I told her, no, listen, I peed in a cup. I took the dropper and I dropped it on to the pregnancy test. It came out positive. She said, okay, well, she's like, sounds to me like it's a genuine positive. Once you see a positive line, it's a positive. Like it's not, she goes, it's not going to, you know, change back into a negative. It's a positive. So I got excited again. And then she said, listen, tomorrow morning, because I did it late at night, she, and the line was really, really faint. She said, um, do the test again in the morning. And when you do it in the morning, you have more HCG in your system, so you, it'll show up better on the pregnancy test. And I had already known this. I, I'm just too impatient to wait until freaking the morning urine to check to see if I'm pregnant. So I was like, okay, we'll do another one in the morning. So we woke up and May 3rd, and I took the pregnancy test, and lo and behold, another positive, but this time it was darker. I was so excited. I I just, I couldn't stop giggling. And Daniel's looking at me like I'm a crazy person. He's like, oh great, I decided to have a baby with this. We are that success story after a tubal reversal. We're pregnant. This is the test that I took on May 3rd. I, sorry, it's probably gross that I kept this test and it's now September. But when you get a pe positive pregnancy test and it's legit, you freak out and I will save everything I possibly can from this pregnancy because we are that excited. So don't judge, but here's the pregnancy test. This is the results that we got. Let me see if I can, you see it? Crazy, 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 crazy. We kind of let it set in on May 3rd that we were pregnant and then, um, we went from ecstatically happy to concerned in about three seconds.